sorry about the shaky video. Three wheeler ride. I should park to the top because it's way easier to go down a little ways and a long ways up. There it is right there. Let's go check it out. Alright guys, here it is. So it looks like the rain is kind of missing the barrels, kind of glancing off. I remember when we left it, it was more in the middle. And you can see it, it's been really raining hard after a, long, a lot of no rain. Look at this. So these pine needles here. The screen kept most of them out. I'm sure some went in there. Let's check out what's inside here. I can't really see that. So the water's filled up to the outlet, which makes sense. This is kind of dented in. Maybe I shouldn't have so many rocks up here. Uh, oh yeah, I mean, here's the thing. So that's our water level. Okay, so there's the numbers. So 200 gallons, um, just under, which is good. I was, I was thinking it's going to be about one fifth full, and it's about two fifths full. Since a little less, because this is 550 gallon. There's the 500 mark. So cool. Well, I, I know we would have got a lot more water if this was more centered. Um, things must have stretched out a little bit. So I'll fix it. All right, guys. So I just tidied things up. I uh, show you. I just moved that pipe a little bit. Uh, moved the clamp so it water will drop in the center of the bucket and that's all I'm gonna do for right now I still got um, some some tools and some new clamps I'm gonna leave up here and I'm gonna hook carabiners to the top one so in the winter time we can just drop the top and keep this business end as we're calling it is the one that's it's hard to position because it you know it needs from this view you can see it needs to drop right into that center of the bucket um, so we'll just leave all these all these attachments to the trees here and uh, up there I have carabiners so you can just kind of fall over on the ground and the snow won't affect it. It'll just kind of uh, be dormant for the winter. Um, but we're going to get a couple more months out of it, hopefully fill this tank. And then um, we still got to connect 100 more, 100 more feet of line and deal with the kink. I got to add a splice because it broke the uh, pipe. Or somebody uh, kinked it, and it's it's gonna leak. So um, anyway, stay tuned. He didn't, he didn't cut it off because he just had a big old coil here. He's gonna tap into a little bit more stuff, but this is the uh... okay. So I'm gonna hit this hit this shut off right here. Oh, I, I can hear it. I can hear air. I can hear air. That's probably through the hose. Then we gotta attach to a hose. All right, guys. That's what we ended up with today. We got a eight foot uh, counter depth cedar bar here, outdoor, um, 24 inch deep, big sink here. I got from my friend's condo. Didn't remodel and got pretty good pressure. I don't have a, I don't have a uh, measure, but oh yeah, feels pretty good. Feels about about 20 psi maybe. I don't know and. Uh, when we get more water in that tank, we'll have even more head. So, pretty happy with that. I need to uh, put a cap on the other side because when I mix it to uh, center it, it uh, gushes from the other side here. Let me show you. But I got to like either cap off the other side of the sink or get a different faucet here. Progress when you get need to get a strainer here and. We'll yeah, catch her in the bucket, so. But. I don't know that. Anyway. The one I had. I don't know. Progress. Don't We're getting there. Woo! Water pressure. Pressure! That was that awesome. That was an epic thing. That was awesome. Dude. That was Yeah. Cool. That was really good. Wow. We're going to kind of like act <laughs> like I do something with my left hand, but it's really just like my right hand. <laughs> I missed it, man. Oh, he thought. He thought. I don't really know. Who needs propane? We got some wood. 
bottom. This thing needs to be spread out though. We need a full on. Yeah, it's okay. gonna take some. We need more heat. Yeah, it's gonna. I don't know oh, who's oh, having sorry. a salad. I don't want right. any salad. No, I don't like good. meat. Yeah, what's going on? Way too much cabbage. Way, like any cabbage is way too much cabbage. Hey guys, I'm um, just finishing up uh, the trip to the cabin. I'm waiting for the ferry here. Um, I'll show you. It's pretty. If you're not used to ferries, it's a pretty beautiful spot. Um, but if you are used to ferries, then it's just like a parking lot on the dock. Anyway, there's two ferries over there coming at me. I didn't film as much as I want to, but it's because I had a really good time from, with some uh, high school buddies from home, and uh, we got a lot done, but um, you know, not as much as we wanted to. So we tested the water system. Uh, we got it connected, which is awesome. It just it's seemed like a crapshoot with all these plumbing parts going from like flexible hose to PVC, then to a garden hose to the sink and, and the sinks they're up there I've been there for a year and I didn't remember exactly what the connections look like so uh, anyway we got it all connected but just as I was leaving today I noticed turn on the water no flow so we brand new 200 feet a lot one inch line so I think there's a clog in the tank because the tank has had some scum in there for five or six years actually before um, just sitting there so I think there's some sort of clog going on um, I was hoping for a lot more pressure than we were getting to so uh, to be continued other than that um, we got that that nice uh, kitchen counter with a I call it kitchen counter outdoor counter with sink in the middle very nice and have to have in the woods so uh, we had a great time and uh, that's about all the work we did and uh, yeah so to be continued 200 gallons plenty of water by the way so